SM Videos, the leader in football education. Hi, I'm Rex Lardner, the managing editor of American Football Monthly, and our guest today is Brian Hamilton. He's the head coach at Foothill High School in Palisadro, California, and he has just completed two new videos, and it's about the quick passing game. Brian, tell us first about the quick passing game and how it differentiates from a normal passing game. Well, at Foothill, um, our quick passing game is built upon the concept of getting the ball out pretty quick, obviously, the name quick. And we want the ball sure. out, you know, in under two seconds. We're in the shotgun formation, so basically our quarterbacks are going to catch the ball, stick their foot, and throw. We want that thing out pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Our receivers are, are breaking at four steps. So it's routes that are about five yards in depth, uh -huh. and we want to get that thing out pretty quick to avoid the rush and, and to take advantage of some, uh, obviously, some mismatches, sure. some coverages. Gotcha. Now, what adjustments are made based on different coverages? If, in other words, if you, if you face a cover two versus cover three versus cover four, do you do make adjustments on the fly? Yeah, and, and that's what's great about this system in our quick passing game, and we talked about it on the video a little bit, is the things that our quarterbacks look at, you know, what, what they're mm -hmm. trying to look at, and we make it pretty simple for them. We're identifying where the safeties are, how the corners are playing, um, the linebackers look like they're going to be blitzing. Mm -hmm. And then we call the play from the line of scrimmage based on what we're seeing and perceiving the defenses to be doing. So that's why I think it's so effective. Gotcha. Now, what are the advantages of your quarterback calling the plays at the line of scrimmage as opposed to you on the sidelines? Sure. And that was a hard thing for me as a coach to give up at, I at bet first. I it was. At first, you know. Sure. But um, we spent a lot of time in the film room. We spent a lot of time watching uh, defenses and the, the people we're going to be playing against. And I just think the quarterback has a better feel. He's got a better vision. He's not on the side. He's right there. He's playing in the game. Mm -hmm. And as long as we, you know, we teach them what we're looking for. He can call the play that puts him in the best situation for success. And we have a system that the, the video goes over that's pretty simple, I think. Um, it's, uh, it's easy to implement, but it gives the quarterback and the offense great advantage versus all defensive coverages, in my opinion. Gotcha. Now, do you need special kinds of athletes at the skill positions to be successful with this kind of offense? Well, you, you always want good athletes, but the <laughs> sure. reality is, is that, uh, you know, in high school football, you, hopefully you have a bunch of good athletes, but most of the time you have uh, just, you know, average athletes and guys that are working hard to do what you ask them to do. Sure. So this offense, I think, is just like any other offense in, in the sense that we're going to utilize our best athletes, try to get the ball into their hands, but the reality is you have a lot of just uh, average to maybe a little bit above average athletes, and, and this, this system certainly uh, will benefit those guys. Now, do you have, a, do you have a, a, a bread and butter play that you go to for the quick passing game, one more than any other? I think, you know, it depends on the coverage, but I think um, mm -hmm. that our quarterbacks like the quick out. It's mm -hmm. hard to defend. We, right. you know, the five yard out, either from our outside receivers or maybe from our slot receivers, either from a stationary or from motion. And I think that's hard to defend. It's, it's one of those things that I call everybody's happy play. And what right. I mean by that is when you hear the defensive guy say, hey, we're, we'll give them that. We're okay with that. Right. Give them right. the five yards and hit them. And offensively, we're saying, hey, we'll take five yards. So in my opinion, everybody's happy. We're good. We'll go to the next play. we got five yards. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, Coach, thank you for being you with bet. us. Our guest today is Brian Hamilton, the head coach at Foothill High School in Palisadro, California. And thanks for being with us.